Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Foster Family Fun. I'm out here early, me and my dad, and we are about to start planting these berry bushes. We have blueberries and blackberry bushes that we're going to be planting this morning. You guys already saw in a previous video how Rory used the auger to dig the holes. And then in a couple days, I'm expecting to get some elderberry bushes, and we're going to put these back here in the same area. So we're gonna get these bushes in quick while we have a little bit of an overcast. It's still very hot and humid out here this morning, but I know it's gonna get even hotter into the upper 80s by this afternoon. So we wanna get it done now. Okay, you guys, so all of our berries are potted and I'm just gonna show you really quick what we've been doing. So I have um, some peat moss because blueberries and blackberries like acidic soil. Now what you can do is you can test your soil if you want to, to see your pH level in your soil. But I'm just using a little bit of peat moss and mixing it with our natural soil here. I don't want to put too much stuff in it because I want these berries to acclimate to the soil that we have here. And I'm also not going to plant it too deep. So I'm only going to plant it at the top of where the soil is in the pot. So I'm just going to, it's gonna remove really easy because they're long overdue for needing to be planted. But I'm just going to loosen up the soil at the bottom just a little bit. Test out the hole. Make sure it's not too deep to get in here because I don't want it to go too far. Just gonna plant it at the soil level from the pot. And this is perfect. And then I'm just gonna backfill. I backfilled some of the um, top soil and the peat moss in the bottom of the hole before I put it in earlier. But I'm just gonna pile this soil up. Use the shovel and pile this soil right up. And press it in. And there you go, our planted blueberry. Now I am going to put, um, we're going to water them in. And then I'm going to put something around them to hold in the moisture. But we'll do that at the end after we've finished planting all of them. Um, and we have a couple of empty holes for the elderberries when they get in and all I'm gonna do you guys is just water it in really drench them in good and this is our rain water from our rain harvesting system that we have set up that I showed you guys in a previous video and then after I Give them all a good, nice drink of rainwater. I am going to put some straw around it to hold in the moisture. So the mulch that we're using, you guys, is just regular seeding mulch. It is um, this straw that Rory purchased when he was trying to grow grass. And he didn't really like the effect of it. So in order not for it to go to waste, just going to repurpose it and I'm going to put it around 
these berry bushes to hold in the moisture. <laughs> Okay, you guys so I think it's looking good we are finished we're gonna wrap it up clean everything up and head inside because it was already hot out here and it's not even 9 a.m. yet and the Sun is already blazing right now so I'm glad that we got it done early when we did but let me show you what it's looking like so we have a blueberry bush right here a blackberry bush right here a blueberry bush right here this these two holes are empty another blueberry bush right there a blueberry bush and a blackberry bush and as I've shown you guys in our previous videos these were purchased from local nursery as well as online and these two empty holes are going to be when we get our elderberries in. and I'm thinking we should get them in by later on this week but as you can see we still have all of this back here and space over here because we cleared this area just for bushes these are the only berries that we plan on planting this season we will probably plant some more next season when we purchase more but for right now we're going to stick to this and then of course the two elderberries that should be coming soon and i ordered those from stark brothers and when they come in I'll show you guys those. So we've been out here on our 10.4 acres of land in Florida for about four months, you guys. And I've mentioned it several times before, but the very first thing that we wanted to do within the first six months to a year was to plant fruit trees and berry bushes because fruit trees take such a long time we really felt like that was one of the first things we wanted to get done on our homestead so we are one step closer to accomplishing that goal that we set for ourselves and we should be planting our fruit trees oh, when we get a cool day you guys hopefully later on this week if not by the beginning of next week so if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video or in the next live on the land thanks for watching